Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. Today we've got the Eoshin E52 TX. Get it in time for Christmas. Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. Today we've got the Eoshin E52 TX. Do two versions of this. This is the TX version that comes with transmitter, or you can buy it to fly with your phone only. So let's just have a look what you get in the box. You get the instruction manual, a uh, quick start guide for the app, it's quite nice actually. The drone itself, clip for your phone, uh, USB charger, controller, and set spare props. So your typical fan. So let's have a look at this, see what you, let's have a look at what you get for your money. So this is the, the drone itself and it's like a rubberized coating, it's very nice. It's metallic red obviously so it looks really really nice to be honest. So it's got fold out arms. And a tiltable camera. So the camera is a 720p camera. I have, I have flown this and it flies really, really nice. It's very smooth, especially with the, I don't like flying with phones, as I, you probably know if you watch my channel. Uh, I'm not a fly it with phone kind of person. So the reason I bought this is it's quite cheap and with Christmas coming up, it's a, it's a good option if you want to buy something cheap. Get your child into drones. I think you can pick these up for under £30 at the minute. It comes with a battery that goes in the bottom there, and I can't remember what this is, let's see if I can read it, one second. So it's a 1S 1000mAh power battery, it's proprietary sort of, it's got JST on the bottom, so you could actually manufacture something I presume, possibly to do it yourself, but there's a pin in there if you can see that you could actually push a JST in there. So that's your battery takes about an hour and 25 to charge and then it's got a front light in here this is like a rubber it's not hard plastic it's it's a rubber kind of coating the props feel decent but quite bendy it's a very nicely finished off drone to be honest so this is the controller it comes with the clip for your phone so that pushes on like that and it's got a quick release to push it off it's nice actually got the most dreaded screw to hold the back on. Well, I didn't know it's a screwdriver. No, no screw. Oh, yeah, sorry, there's a screwdriver. I apologise, there's a very small screwdriver in the box. And then, obviously, your phone goes in there like that. Let's look at the drone. Single press button on the top to turn it on. Red LEDs at the rear, front LED at the front, and then obviously the camera. This is the controller, single press on, and then of course like all of these, up and down to bind it. So it has got flip mode, let me have a quick look at the manual because I can't remember all the controls, here we go. So it has headless mode, one key return. So I'd, I'd ignore both of them if I'm being honest with you, I don't like them at all. So photo button, video button, so these look like trim buttons but they're actually not. So photo and video and then on the back you've got rates and flip. So got a rates button there and a flip button there and then on the other side these are actually the trim buttons. Very much like a miniature Simo and Simo kind of copy. This feels quite nice actually in your hand, it's a decent size. Not a bad size at all to be honest with you. So yeah, all, all in all, it's not too bad. And like I say, I have flown this and it, it does feel quite nice. I've only flown it and done through the modes of flying it. I haven't bothered with the video camera or any of that. But let's get it to the app and see what it's like. So it runs on JY, sorry, did it? Yeah, JYUFO. So let's just get it to my phone. Go into settings, go into, oops, go into Wi-Fi, 
see if it has found it, yep Wi-Fi UFO connect now the app says it's JY UFO so let's just double check hit play and there we go so your phone just goes into the clip which I like these to be honest they look a bit cheap but they actually do work they hold the phone well and a lot of these have a problem with when they go into clips at the top that they catch the buttons on my phone and it ends up putting it into either standby or shuts it down with these I don't get the problem because I can put it where I want in the controller and this isn't going to fall out so there you go so this is your controls see what kind of lag we've got we have got lag obviously and for some reason we're upside down There we go. Uh, I must have caught the reverse button. But you can see the image itself. There's a Star Wars drone that I've reviewed there. So the image itself, if you can just have a look at the image of the image of the image, if you know what I mean. is isn't too bad. There's quite a bit of lag, but it's not too bad. So you've got up here, you've got take a photo, called to video. And then down here you've also got the video button. But it's not recording it onto, it's not showing it with, really you've hit the button. Here, have I gone? Have I been wrong there? No, that's right. Uh, take a photo. So, I, I don't ever use these. If I want to take a photo or video, I just use the app. And as you can see, they're working absolutely fine. Your rates, so you've also got the button on the back, but this is designed for when you're flying it with the phone, because obviously you can use this to fly with your phone like that. So you can take it out of here and fly it with your phone. I'm not the biggest fan of, of flying with a phone, which you're probably aware of, so I stick to the controller. So let me just have a look on here and see if there's a anything else for the video. No, that, that is all it is. So, this is that's the drone itself. You get about six to eight minutes flight time depending on how you're flying it. If you're just hovering it around inside, you get eight minutes. I'd recommend this as an inside drone and not an outside drone. It's a great drone to get you into as a hobby and have a bit of a play about with because it's neat, it falls down well, and it's nicely finished off to be honest. And for the money, you probably can't go wrong. And like, as I say, with Christmas coming up, this would probably be a great one to put as a stocking filler. You can get it from various places. I got this from Banggood. It's all over eBay if you have one, have a look on eBay. Um, but like Banggood is the cheapest. And if you pay for the, I think it, it cost me 50p extra to have the four to nine days shipping. And it came in six days. It tends to do that. And then you get no issue with late delivery. So, there you go. So there's the app. That's the drone itself. Uh, and for the money, I'd recommend it. I wouldn't recommend buying it because it's hard. I think that much difference in price. I think it was eight pounds difference in price when I bought it between the controller version and the non-controller version. I have seen it differ quite a quite a lot, so you'll have to bear with me. And this is the price that I got it for. But all in all, yeah, a decent first drone for someone, and a decent little selfie drone. These things never have the best camera quality in the world, but it's, it's as good as all the other stuff out there, 720p, and it's a nice little drone. So, have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button, and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.